Hello, I'm Nobby Clark, welcome to my workshop. Um, for me, one of the very interesting parts of uh, making projects in, in the workshop is uh, working out uh, how to set up uh, bits of material uh, for machining. Um, I recently made uh, my own copy of a, a Mamod uh, steam engine and um, I, I didn't film the whole process of of making this, uh, there's only a couple of parts that I, I did film, really for my own uh, record, was machining um, the two end plates, uh, this part here, uh, to seat the boiler on, and setting up the, the boiler onto the bed of the milling machine to drill and tap some holes in, in the top of the, of the copper tube. Um, some time back, uh, well, quite a few years back, I bought um, this rotary uh, table at one of the model engineering exhibitions um, and also bought um, a conversion plate for the top um, that gives me the, the Myford thread so that I can fit Myford chucks to it and uh, the Myford face plate as well. Um, and the face plate obviously enables me to um, mount the material on, onto the rotary table for machining um, where I need to, to move the work um, while it's being machined. Um, at the end of uh, the video here I will show the various uh, clips that I shot of uh, machining those end plates and and drilling the holes in, in the boiler itself. Um, but, uh, you can obviously put um, material on the top of the face plate to protect the surface so that you don't damage it. Um, some people use um, pieces of scrap aluminium sac as a sacrificial surface. Um, I often use um, bits of, uh, uh, of, of nice flat wood to mount on the top just clamp that down onto the top and then clamp the material on the top of that and of course once you've made lots of marks in it um, this can just be scrapped and you just replace it with a new piece and this bit's obviously been used on my bench drill <laughs> um, to, to drill in uh, to, to bits of material um, to the back here as it's, it's got machined out for from here from some other job I was doing and to hold it down obviously you use uh, these uh, clamp down sets um, this is the most recent set that was uh, uh, bought by uh, my wife for me a few years back and it has um, various clamps and threaded uh, studding and uh, uh, flange nuts and so forth and I've got a lot of extra flange nuts uh, that are always sort of useful to have and it has some uh, little uh, T-nuts in here as well uh, these devices so that you can join uh, bits of the studding together if you, you need a, a much taller piece um, I also have a, another set that I, I actually had before I, I set my workshop up um, this was given to me by the chap that I bought a piece of equipment from and he had this set which he said he didn't need anymore and just gave it to me. It's It's got um, uh, some slightly larger um, uh, clamps than that the other set has and there's uh, sort of standoffs as well. So a combination of these two sets I, I can do almost, almost anything uh, clamping items to the uh, at the face plate or, or on directly onto the, the bed of the milling machine as well um, so um, at the end of the video if you want to sort of hang around and see um, that bit of machining uh, um, please please do um, it's such, such um, I mean that the, the the rotary table it's been such a useful thing to have and I bought this quite a few years ago um, at one of the model engineering exhibitions. Uh, it's um, quite a small uh, rotary table, um, but more than big enough for uh, my milling machine. Um, 
after I bought this when I was travelling home I had some slight doubts that even this would be too big because there was a smaller version of this and larger ones as well but in the end it, I discovered it, it works uh, perfectly well and in the end by not fitting the uh, the uh, milling vice in the in the centre of the, the bed of the mill um, I can put this usually alongside it so that I don't have to keep taking the, the vice off the mill which is always annoying because it's got to be retrammed in again now, and I've also used this to um, in the past to drill um, bolt hole patterns in the, the ends of um, cylinders on some of the model, model uh, steam engines I've built um, usually uh, putting the piece of material in a vice and mounting that on the top here and then uh, drilling you know whatever pattern I want for the little screws that hold the end plates onto the cylinder um, I mean, when I can do this now <coughs> by using the DRO which has the, the, the bolt hole pattern uh, program on it um, but this has been very very useful I mean after I bought this I, I didn't use it for ages um, and once I started using it uh, and when I found uh, more and more uses for it so it's been a very very useful accessory to have um, well I hope you uh, sort of would hang around to, to watch the, the little clips if you're not interested in seeing a bit of random machinery uh, uh, you, you can switch off after I stop speaking um, I added another bit on for uh, another project that uh, I'd started to make where I needed to drill some quite large holes in uh, some sh a sheet of aluminium and I used um, these um, round cutters and that's the, the one I, I actually use these were a very inexpensive set that I bought from Aldi under the uh, Ferrex name um, and for aluminium these, these work perfectly well um, and I was lucky enough to, to, to find these in one of the branches where they'd obviously had a few sets of these left over and, and were selling them off. So this whole set was, I think it was only about seven or eight pounds, which I thought was very reasonable compared to um, you know, like the prices you see on eBay. And I think if you went into a, a DIY store, you'd probably pay that much just for one cutter. So that's you know, going to be quite a, a useful set uh, uh, for the future as well. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me in the workshop today. Very cold day today. Um, and also thanks to everyone that's subscribing uh, to my channel. Uh, numbers are increasing quite nicely. If you've not, not subscribed already, please do help the numbers out. And also thanks for all the um, the comments and the sort of nice uh, information uh, that's being passed to me on the on sort of help and advice. Well, anyway, you can either stick around or switch off now. Bye for now.